Hello everyone, it's me, Lancer737. Sorry, I'm doing this really late. I've been so busy today, sort of. Anyway, we're going to do the daily reading. Try to get the next one out earlier. Wait, Thursday? Uh-oh. It's counting as Thursday, so I guess I won't be getting it out earlier. Um, well, I guess this... Never mind. I guess this would technically be earlier since I'm doing Thursday on Wednesday. Anyway... First reading, God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. And then God said, take your son, Isaac, your only one whom you love, and go to the land of Morah. There you shall offer him up as a burnt offering on a height that I will point out to you. Early the next morning, Abraham saddled his donkey, took with him his son, Isaac, and two of his servants as well. And with the wood that he had cut from the burnt offering, set out for the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham got sight of the place from afar. Then he said to the servants, Both of you stay here with the donkey, while the boy and I go on over yonder. We will worship and then come back to you. Thereupon Abraham took the wood from the burnt offering and laid it out on his son Isaac's shoulders, while he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two walked on together, Isaac spoke to his father, Abraham. Father, he said, yes, son. He replied, Isaac continued, here are the fire and the wood, but where is the sheep for the burnt offering? Son Abraham answered, God himself will provide the sheep for the burnt offering. Then the two continued going forward. When they came to the place of, the, of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Next, he tied up his son Isaac and put him on top of the wood on the altar. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do, do not do the least thing to him. I know how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham named the site Yahweh Yare. I may have said that wrong, the, the, left, the second part. Hence people now say, on the mountain the Lord will see, Again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, decree, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did and not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the, great, the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing, all this because you obeyed my command. Abraham then returned to the servants, his servants, and they set out together for Beersheba, where Abraham made his home. Alleluia, alleluia. God is re was reconciling the world. To himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, Alleluia. And the final reading is the Gospel of Matthew 9, 1 through 8. After entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And there people brought to him a paralytic lying on the stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk, but that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive its sins. He then said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowd saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God, who had given such authority to men. That's an amazing story. Peace be with you all, and have a great night.